Well, greetings my fellow nature lovers, hope you are all keeping well. In this video we're going to be looking at a couple of different parrots. The Black Cap Laureate on screen now is a species of parrot. Fun fact, they have a specialised brush tipped tongue for feeding on nectar and soft roots. They can feed from the flowers of about 5,000 different species of plants and use a specialised tongue to take the nectar. The tips of their tongues have tufts of extremely fine hairs which collect the nectar and the pollen. They only grow to a size of about 12 inches in height and weighing up to 200 grams in weight. Black cap lorikeet are native to New Guinea, which is a group of islands off the coast of Australia. Their population has no major threats to its survival and are currently listed on the IUCN as being of least concern. These guys are omnivores, so their diet consists of pollen, nectar, flowers, fruit, seeds and small insects. Their lifespan is about 20 to 25 years in the wild and a little longer in captivity. They are a very social bird. They live in families of groups up to 10 members. They are a very intelligent bird and they make great mimics, able to replicate human and also animal noises. Lorikeet species tend to form monogamous pairs mating for life. The pair grooms each other while resting. The next beautiful bird on the list is the red collared lorikeet. This parrot comes from northern Australia and is typically found in wooded habitats. The red collared lorikeet is an omnivore. The diet is of nectar, pollen, fruit, seeds and insects. Weird fact for you, every year at the end of the dry season and beginning of the wet season in Darwin, Northern Australia. Around October, November time, the red coloured parrot seems to change. Many of them display symptoms of drunkenness. Scientists have not found a reason for this. It is thought that it may be a virus. The effect only lasts a couple of days, but the symptoms are very serious. For example, besides looking drunk, the birds are getting respiratory problems, and a lot of them die from falling out of trees. Like the black cap laureate, the red collared laureate mate for life. The species nests in hollows in large trees, generally some distance above the ground. One or two broods are laid each year between August and January and March and June. The clutch consists of two matted white eggs. They incubate those eggs for 24 days. Once a young hatch, they'll be fully fledged to ploy within six to eight weeks. The main avian predator for the red Colored laureate is the peregrine falcon, one of the fastest birds of life. The next beautiful feathered friend on the list is the grey and pink cockatoo or the rose breasted cockatoo. The pink and grey cockatoo is the most widespread of all the tree birds on our list, found in every part of Australia. They mainly nest in tree cavities. Their eggs are white and usually two to five in a clutch. The eggs are incubated for around 25 days and the male and female both share incubation. The chicks leave the nest after about 45 days of hatching. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, you might like the next YouTube recommendation there. Just on screen now. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much, folks, for watching. Bye-bye.